Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will solve one question uh, which is related with uh, the loss expectancy calculation in domain 1 and we will see how we can solve the a lengthy question which involve mathematics, which involve finding certain key parameters to answer the right choice. Right? So, let us uh, go into my drawing board and see the question and see how we can quickly solve it. So, if you go into my drawing board and see the question, the question is something like this. This is from Mike Chappell's book, uh, the practice series book and the question says that uh, uh, Henry is a character, Henry is the risk manager of uh, for Atwood Landing, a resort community in the Midwest, Midwestern United States. The resort's main data center is located in northern Indiana in an area that is prone to tornadoes. Henry recently undertook a replacement cost analysis and determined the rebuilding and reconfiguration of the data center or reconfiguring the data center would cost 10 million dollar, right. So, when we are reading the question, we have to quickly um, highlight, uh, you, can't, you can't highlight questions in um, real exam. But uh, you will be given a piece of paper and pen. So, you have to uh, quickly note down what are the key uh, parameters mentioned in the question so that you do not have to go back and back, you know, back and forth again and again. So, here one key metric which is given here or one key information which is given here is the rebuilding and reconfiguration cost which is 10 million dollar, right. So, what is this cost? This is the total cost of the facility, right. So, you can write quickly something like this that total cost is um, sorry, sorry for my bad handwriting total cost equals to 10 million. You should also know that uh, when we say million is 10 to the power 6 right 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 6. So, 10 million equals to 10 multiplied by 10 is to the power 6. Now, Henry consulted with tornado experts, data center specialists and structural engineers together. They determined that a typical tornado would cause approximately 5 million dollar of damage to the facility, right. So, if the facility is damaged, how much um, loss the company will have? So, it is approximately 5 million dollar. So, you can say that the 5 million dollar is single loss expectancy, 5 million, right. Again, 5 into 10 to the power 6. So, why we say this 5 million as single loss expectancy? Now, if you carefully read the line again, what it says? that together they determine that a typical tornado would cause a typical tornado like it is causing it is talking about one tornado instance would cost uh, would cause approximately 5 million of damage to the facility right. So, total um, total cost is uh, 10 million dollar and the damage caused is 5 million dollar. Now, from here you can quickly uh, determine one more parameter which is exposure, right. So, exposure is how much? Total is 10 million dollar and you have you are exposing 5 million dollar. So, you are 50 percent exposed, right. The exposure is 50 percent. Now, <coughs> now what is the next question? Uh, next information, sorry. Now, the meteorologists determine that Atwood facility lie in an area where there are likely to experience a tornado once every 200 year. So, this type of information once every 200 year it is the, uh, the rate of occurrence right. So, this is very important for us. So, rate of occurrence is uh, I will say rate of occurrence equals to um, once every 200 year right that is what it says once every 200 year. Now, in calculation when we uh, calculate uh, single loss expectancy or annual loss expectancy we always calculate annual rate of occurrence 
which we call as ARO, right? ARO. But how we will convert this once every 200 years to ARO? This is a question. Now, to solve this question, I will give you one uh, quick example and that example will uh, give you a general idea or general method to calculate ARO. Now, if I ask you a question that you have got, uh, let me pick a different color here. If, if 30 banana cost, uh, did do I write ghost? <laughs> If 30 banana cost $12, how much is 3.5 banana? Yeah, how much cost is for 3.5 banana? This is a very stupid question because no one buys 3.5 banana, but I am making this up so that uh, you know you can uh, you can understand that how we deal these type of things banana right so the way we solve this is uh, called unitary method unitary method now in unitary method what you do you write uh, this uh, this problem statement something like this so you will say that 30 banana you put a big arrow cost 12 dollar so one banana cost 12 divided by 30 dollars right and then 3.5 banana cost 3.5 times the cost of one banana. So this will be the answer, right? So we will deploy, we will deploy or we will um, use this method in calculating ARO. Now let's see how this translate to answering what is annual rate of occurrence. So here you will see that it says that in 200 years you have got one instance, right? So what you will write here is, uh, you will write here is uh, it as for 200 years you have got one occurrence. So for one year you will have one upon 200 occurrence, right? So this follows the same logic. If 30 banana cost 12 dollar, one banana cost 12 divided by 30. So 200 years. In 200 years, you have got one occurrence. So in a single year, it will be 1 upon 200. So annual rate of occurrence will be 1 upon 200, right? So this will be ARO. Now, what is 1 upon 200? So uh, you can find it out that 1 upon 200, if you divide, it will come at, uh, as uh, uh, 0 0.005, right? Uh, 2 fives are 10 and then, yeah you will come to this figure. You have to be very um, fast in doing these calculations as well. Although you will be given a calculator, you can use the calculator uh, in exam. It will be like a software calculator in your exam portal. There will be a icon for calculator on the right hand side, I think if I am not wrong. And then you can press on it and then you can find the calculator. But if you are fast in doing calculation uh, with pen and paper, that will, uh, that will like uh, speed up things. Now, so this is ARO, right? What else we have this in uh, information? We have, I think we have captured all the information. So capturing the information is uh, is half the battle <laughs> win. So we have uh, we have uh, captured everything. Now we'll answer the question. So based upon information in this scenario, question 91, what is the exposure factor for the effect of tornado on an Atwood landing center, right? So exposure factor he is asking, right? So we already calculated exposure will be 50%, right? Now the second thing it is asking is what is the annualized rate of occurrence? Fortunately, we already calculated 0 0.005, which is here. Let me uh, let me put it in a box. So exposure we calculated, which is the answer of uh, 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 91 question 91. And then we calculated ARO, which is here. Now this is for question number 92. Based on the information in this scenario, what is the annualized low expectancy for a tornado at Atwood Landing Desert? Now it is asking annualized loss expectancy. 
right so we we know this formula that annualized loss expectancy or annual loss expectancy equals to single loss expectancy multiplied by annual rate of occurrence right so what is single loss expectancy is 5 million and uh, what is um, aro aro is uh, 0 0.005 but i will write here 1 upon 200 right so it will be 5 to 100 by 2 times 10 raised to the power 4 because 2 0 will cancel out the uh, 6 here it will remain 4 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 4 which is 25 and then 3 0 right so 25000 dollars will be the answer right so for 93 the answer will be a and for 92 the answer will be b and for 91 the answer will be c 50 percent right so this is the way we calculate um, single loss expectancy annual rate of occurrence and annual loss expectancy now in this same example i would like to extend some some of the uh, concepts again uh, these are not new concepts but these are actually calculation tricks so here in this question you have seen that uh, the question was framed around that the rate of occurrence was once every 200 years right so if uh, if you are given something like this that uh, uh, let's say rate of occurrence is um, is uh, thrice every uh, 20 years so rate of occurrence is thrice every 20 years so this is now uh, a bit more complex so it says that for every 20 year there will be three instances of uh, occurrence right so so here uh, rate of occurrence roa will be thrice every 20 years right so this is given now you are interested in finding aro which is annual rate of occurrence right because this is the parameter which will be used in the formula let me write down the formula as well so the formula is annual loss expectancy equals to single loss expectancy times aro right so here you can't use roa which is rate of occurrence you have to find annual rate of occurrence which is aro now how you will calculate aro this is the question okay so let me put a question mark here the way you tackle is the same trick which i told you for the example where i gave you the example of bananas right now what you will do here you will say that uh, let me do it in here with a different color so for 20 years you have how many occurrence three so for one year how many occurrence it will be 3 upon 20 so for every year the rate of occurrence will be 3 divided by 20 so this will be your aro so aro equals to 3 divided by 20 if you wanna if you wanna speed up further what you can think is for every question just uh, just um, uh, give some attention here so you have got some numbers with years right some number with years so it says 20 years right and then you have got something which is occurrence which is thrice here right so what you have to do to get annual rate of occurrence you have to divide the occurrence div by the number of years right so here you have got three occurrence every 20 years the so annual rate of occurrence will be 3 divided by 20 now this will be your ARA, aro now if single loss expectancy is 5 million dollar which is 5 into 10 to the power 6 then annual loss expectancy will be 5 into 10 to the power 6 times 3 upon 20 and you calculate this uh, whatever the value is that will be your answer so this is um, important i think uh, uh, if you have this in your mind um, you will save some time and uh, i have developed this uh, method of not not uh, actually it is not my method 
this method is there like I learned this method in class 8 I think um, in my in my in my school so um, but what happens when we grow up we, we forget many things right and uh, uh, there is always a way to to do things even we forget but it will take time in CISSP exam you don't have time if you finish a question within three minutes that's healthy right so if you practice the methods if you practice the shortcuts that will increase your chance in passing the exam right so even though it sound uh, very little like uh, it sound insignificant but when you are in exam when you are in pressure uh, you know things you know sometimes it's hard to recall at that time so if you practice this method i think this is gonna help you big time i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i will be creating a separate playlist for all the questions and answer explanation which i will be doing for cissp uh, exam preparation um, and thanks for watching my video and if you really like my content put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it will really help me in covering the cost if my channel gets monetized because i am not getting uh, enough uh, enough watch time right now so any help any contribution in in sharing the video putting a like button or hitting a subscribe button will will help me and will help all the people who are watching this video thanks again best of luck for the CISS, cssp exam and uh, i wish to meet you in another video